welcome to my very first official vlog. I thought I would do a bit of a check-in with you guys as per vlogging etiquette. Um, yeah, I've been vlogging for the past week now and it's been a very interesting experience. And the reason why I wanted to embark on this vlogging extravaganza is because I really wanted to explore the role that the cinema of attraction still plays in this new media platform of the vlog. So firstly, a vlog is basically like a video diary. It's essentially a video version of a blog, hence the name vlog. Um, and you can document literally anything that you do in a day or over a week or an extended period of time, doesn't matter. But it's basically you documenting your everyday life. I thought I'd describe and outline what the cinema of attractions was as well. So Tom Gunning basically outlined that it was essentially this exhibitionist style of filmmaking. So where movies were created to show and put in a production for audiences. I kind of view it as being very theatrical but on a film scale. And in it he really talks about early cinema. So we were talking about George Millier's style of filmmaking where the actors would actually look into the camera and acknowledge that there was an audience engaging and it created this concept of the spectacle. So the film became a spectacle that audiences would be so amazed by that they would constantly go back and watch it over and over again. So I was doing some research about it and going back to what Lister and his colleagues were saying, they essentially said that the vlog was designed in a way that it would was astonishing and that it would have an impact on audiences and that is literally kind of describing what the cinema of attractions is so immediately there is that kind of very visual connection that a lot of vloggers when they make their vlogs it isn't just them literally picking up a camera and recording sometimes there are aspects of that but it's always very highly edited it's always there's always music playing in the background to kind of keep the audience engaged and entertained and in doing that they want to kind of create that spectacle and bring the audience back in so that is something that Rowan talks about in his digital attractions piece is that there is obviously YouTube there's a time frame you know you have a video for a certain amount of time and generally that time frame bro and talk says is about 10 minutes yeah there are videos that go on for longer than that but generally the aim is around that 10 minute mark and what bro and says is that in that 10 minutes every decision is a conscious one so anything you decide to show is done consciously and intentionally for a particular purpose and he says that because of that time limit um because of that decision making process, anything that you put into the vlog is designed to show, engage and entertain an audiences. And he, and I completely agree, says that again that's reflective of that cinema of attractions, of that very exhibitionist style of filmmaking, of how we want to entertain and put on a show for the audiences to kind of keep them back and returning and watching what you produce. Between the vlog and the cinema of attraction style of cinema is that and it's something that Luez picked up on in his piece um cinema without showbiz is that in a lot of Hollywood films the spectacle that is created is there is a spectacle of the everyday but it's very stylized very dramatized much like a lot of vlogs but what Luez said was the main difference was that the vlog is the spectacle of the uncommodified everyday and he said that even in things like exhibitionist style of filmmaking, there is always that financial kind of purpose behind it. So yeah, um, those are my thoughts on the cinema of attractions and the role that it plays within this new media platform of the vlog. I could literally go on talking about it for so long because I found it such an enjoyable and interesting topic to cover. But um, yeah, I thought I'd end the vlog now, officially. That was so much fun. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on this kind of topic of moving images. So yeah, that, those are my thoughts and thanks so much for watching. Bye!